Hey guys, how are you? It's Anastasia here and in this video I wanted to show you some accessories that I find amazing at uh, other stores. I'm not wearing my mask. Um, some of you mentioned that you were a bit scared for me. I have been vaccinated since February fully so yeah that's why I think I'm a bit less prone to cut the virus but of course better to be careful as well so I'm gonna be on and off. They have some really cool uh, summer arrivals here as I can see we probably seen them already and um, I think yeah they are handbags they deserve a little bit more attention because they made really well and the leathers are really good and they usually follow the trends really well as well so um, let's see what are the new things that they have the new sandals and the, the handbags because I find that shopping on a website sometimes it's not easy uh, these I think I've seen them before uh, they are the most classy ankle boots so looking towards um, the winter pre fall pre fall and winter you might consider adding something like this to your wardrobe this is what I'm wearing today this is my H&M fitted blazer I'll link it down below and I have my ANF jeans and my orange yeah so even with this type of outfit Fit, I think I could go for a black boot. Black just goes with everything. I was a little bit into western style boots but I don't think I'm gonna go for them. These are the loafers. Loafers are really big this time around. We have a lot of requests for um, both like Chanel, Hermes and um, uh, Prada loafers. Prada has been the, the most popular and requested but um, other stories, uh, wow. They look really cool and they look polished you know it gives you this like definition it gives you a little bit of height maybe one or a few centimeters but yeah definitely really cool style this was unexpected i hope you're gonna like them there is an option of a brogue brogue is a really cool type of shoe that you can wear with a dress i see it like i really like villanelle style uh, from the movies from the killing eve and i would see myself copying that outfit with wearing some puffy skirt or some white kind of dress and having a brogue like this with a lace-up this is really cute and uh, it should be comfortable because it's um, all leather all over here are some of the lace up boots lace up boots are also kind of like a classic and versatile option these don't have a zip though so you might think about if you would wear them how would you wear them and uh, if they're gonna be convenient for you to wear because I think I would prefer the one with with a zip Wow I like this one this is a light beige color like creamy color look how it matches my blazer oh my god I love it and the leather seems quite soft as well they made in Spain I guess they use quite good factories uh, this one probably also would go well with the denim I don't see myself uh, wanting to wear boots with some more feminine items like dresses or skirts because it gives too much feminine look but if you're quite structured outfit like uh, trousers uh, denim and if you add a nice boot with a little heel makes a slightly elevated and you know dressy option for early pre-fall here they also have some sandals so if I would shop for sandals for myself this summer oh look there's so many options so if you're a little bit wide in the leg and if your leg a bit bigger uh, sometimes if you look best with with a double strap sandal let me show you here so yeah i probably wouldn't go for the style i think for me for my proportion it's slightly too big these straps um i think uh, for me personally the the width strap on the oran is the widest i probably would go although sometimes these slides that have a uniform one type of strap they look quite elegant and classy too yeah i like this one and uh, when you shop for 
shoes you need to see uh, how your fit is cut your foot is cut and if it creates a nice and lovely proportion so this still gives me a lot of room in here and kind of elongates the leg and uh, does make even my toes a bit more elegant so yeah that's that would probably be a yes from me and I uh, they also have a sandal that's similar to that sandal I have worn mine for um, almost three years when I was with my first kid and when I was pregnant it was really good one I had a Chanel one but I had sold it and if I think if I would shop again I would get something with on a more elegant side so uh, probably would get either something similar to this one so I think they're gonna be worth trying on so if you're still shopping for summer you might find these really nice uh, although I probably would go for a tan uh, this trend also started some time ago with the popularity of the rose sandal but I have to say I have to be mindful because in between the toes this thing is a little bit wide and it is slightly uncomfortable so even as I'm wearing it now I feel less comfortable to be honest if you have wide distance between your toe and your second toe yeah you might go for it otherwise I don't think it's my style and I don't think it's gonna be elegant and it's not comfortable something like this I think it's uh, inspired by the brand by far let me try it on this is uh, much thinner and it's more comfortable there's a little hill and yeah quite millennial kind of Jay's, uh, Gen Z modern style although I probably would not go for it I would just go for a flip-flop that would be suitable for the pool like the Havanias the resin one or the Tiki's Tiki's are my absolute favorite at the moment there is another sandal I think that probably would be sold out everywhere it's uh, very very similar to the row so if you compare the two this is has a more square toe and this line is a little bit too pointed so I would find it a bit less elegant and uh, it has a much thicker sole okay just out of interest let's give it a try yeah it kind of is cool totally not my style but it, I have I can say that it has its own room in people's hearts right because I really respect what uh, Olsen sisters do they do a really amazing job but I would not go for this slide sandal these are evening a day to night options this is really cute so these asymmetrical lines were inspired by the Bottega Veneta who was in place also inspired by some of the modern brands like the row and uh, by far and a few others and uh, let's try this on I like this one look it's super elegant it is uh, not cutting the leg it is uh, yeah making my toes look pretty and it's really soft as well so I think I love it let me try another one I was not planning on getting anything this time around but this is really cool and I'm trying to size 38 so with the other stories and uh, similarly like it is with the mango and other brands sometimes you could be safe with with a size up because you don't do half sizes so I'm 37 and a half in most brands and this is 38 looks pretty good in in the boots I would probably always go for the 38 but in a sandals probably could do both this is quite good handbag wise this one caught my attention I think at first because it looks like most in a trend it's a bit similar to the bags that you can now find at uh, brands like Celine and Prada does something similar uh, moon shape kind of bag half half moon shape bag or I think there is one uh, from the row that's called banana bag that's quite similar so yeah it is quite good and uh, has a adjustable strap here uh, not too big not too small probably slightly big for me if you want it I can compare it to my saddlebag <laughs> This is a big saddle bag and it is well a little bit more similar in size but slightly yeah smaller. Um, yeah I why I like the saddle bag it has the organic shape so it sits quite elegantly on a female body when it's a more petite size but this is quite good. I wish they had this one a bit smaller sized but I guess it's quite roomy as well for those girls who need everything <laughs> to be with them all the time. Uh, they have quite a lot of structure 
structured bags but um, yeah as if you know me for some time I don't really love like really structured bags they just don't suit my body type I guess but they probably suit some other body types other items that look quite good I think this rectangular bag with little gold chain accessory it's a little bit like the Celine trio bag but double like a wallet on uh, wallet on chain not too big but yeah it doesn't look like too like organic or feminine this is what I sometimes don't like in bags that they kind of like hang just like you know piece of something separate I like when they fit organically that's something that works for me so probably I would also consider something soft something that you could wear as a clutch yeah look like this one it has more organic shape uh, nothing no, like square corners really soft it's like a little teddy bear it, I think it's filled some, with something at the moment and you, there, it also has a little strap so it's a little bit like the Bottega number which is not bad while some ladies think that it's important to have like a light handbag when you wear lighter outfits for summer I have a different opinion I think even darker colors could give really nice and interesting contrast and make outfit really interesting um, even if it's a dark color handbag so yeah this is what I see just as long as it's not like too too shiny leather if you if you get a handbag in a softer leather and black color it goes pretty well with any light outfits here they have some others uh, this is a bit similar to Balenciaga bags with a bit more structure and croc embossing and uh, these two oh, okay cool they're a bit smaller than that moon shape bag and there is a black and there is a gray one so the gray one let me take a look it does also look too much structured to my taste so yeah it kind of like it is really really structured but uh, yeah I think for some ladies it might be a good option such a nice color as well uh, yeah it looks like the color looks really expensive in my opinion it probably would hold quite a bit let me open it um, inside has a one compartment no extra pockets but yeah quite a roomy quite quite good handbag overall Snakeskin embossing, yeah. There is another tote right here. Now this tote is slightly different shape, like a half moon shape as well, but a bit square. This is probably a little bit too big for my portion. Let me look at the mirror. So if we, for, if I was shopping for a tote, I don't know which one. Green color is also really really nice. Although I'm like um, this type of girl, it's very similar to the Guyar, and uh, I think the Celine also have a similar uh, leather tote. The only concern that I would have probably that you know when you put something quite heavy, handles might start ripping. So that's why I always love to buy something that of like um, you know more recognized brand that they do good design. But I think you could try this one as well. Just don't overload it. And and um, I think this one is also cute, like it's a bit similar to the bags that you can find um, at the Bottega Veneta. I think it should be worth opening. In the meantime, I also just spotted these sandals. They are black, uh, but they look how they look. They look super, super elegant because of the way um, it's cut. Really cute. I'm gonna be trying a size 38 here as well. So I guess, yeah, it comes slightly small to size because it fits properly on my size 37, 37 and a half. 
wow i like this one as well thanks for watching guys i hope you found this video useful i'll try to link items down below uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and yeah if you needed any styling inspo check out my instagram as well bye